welcome back to Razor Active. Uh, you kind of haven't sent in any more new comments. Uh, okay lah, holiday mood lah. Okay, <laughs> nah, forgivable, no problem. Uh, all go ahead, enjoy your holiday, no problem. We're just <laughs> here also livening up the mood lah. All, all, all of us relaxing to our holiday. So yeah. anyway, uh, right after the weekend's matches, you know, usually we have our mid-week, mid-week matches. Usually it's either League Cup uh, or Champions League. But mm. this week, both of the other cups are not running. So guess what? We have another round of EPR matches. How about that, man? So, uh, all the clubs are involved, uh, midweek again, and uh, of course, the biggest match, uh, the biggest match of the midweek uh, must be happening at uh, Emirates Stadium. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, Emirates Stadium. Uh, Arsenal will face their OOO rivals, Tottenham Hotspur, who just, like, like I said, just now got a new manager. So, uh, Rudy, uh, I mean, this must be one of the matches you are looking forward to every season. Right? Oh yes, for sure. Um, North London derby, you know, everything gets heat up, heated up, you know, yeah. during the game. But as we were talking during the break just now, I think this is the best time to play Spurs <laughs> because um, Harry Redknapp just came in, so um, Spurs the players will, you know, will need some time to get used to his tactics and the way that um, he the, the way that he wants Spurs to play. But don't you think that you know like. Players, those Spurs players, after you know, they struggle under Juan de Ramos. You know, Juan de Ramos chop and changes mm-hmm. and puts in very weird tactics. All of them were complaining that oh, this tactic no good, that tactic I don't know what how to follow. Mm-hmm. Then now they got Harry and I would just say, oh, you all better get in there and play, tackle them hard, uh. mm-hmm. tackle the players hard, and uh. go in and tackle them, uh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and fight for for the points. Do you think that they will respond? They are suddenly will, they will suddenly respond better to this kind of thing, and then suddenly uh, hit your unawares. Um. Maybe, but um, at the same time, you know, um, some of the players like David Bentley haven't been getting much game time. So that's um, the one that scored um, yesterday's game, Palivchenko. Uh, yeah, so he hasn't got, they haven't got much playing time. So they are just starting to get a bit of playing time. So um, Arsenal should still um, win Someone comfortably. Emirates, right? yeah, exactly, comfortably. Uh. Do you, you don't see any any scoring threats or um, uh, not at this point of time. <laughs> it will be Arsenal two uh. zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, like I said, now, now they are a team in transition. So Spurs are uh, anybody who want to play them. Liverpool will come out next. Hmm. Although we hope that you know it might be they come out um, this midweek. But anyway, Liverpool, I think they also got a good deal this this uh, this midweek because they they are facing a team which are. Uh, uh, now has currently has no uh, manager mm-hmm. la, because their current manager is now with Spurs. Uh. <laughs> Portsmouth. Portsmouth now they are struggling with uh, financial problems. Uh, they got uh, now Harry Redknapp. They tried, tried, tried to persuade him to stay. Harry Redknapp said he wants to follow his dream of managing a big club. So Portsmouth, <coughs> naturally not a big club. Uh. So, <laughs> so Liverpool will be, in, be at Anfield um, against Portsmouth. Um, well, having beaten Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, now they are at Portsmouth at Anfield. How? Can, do you see any any signs of an upset? Upset? Um, okay, there is always a chance of upset. I mean, the, the ball is round, anything can happen. I saw Portsmouth play against uh, Fulham uh. last weekend. Um, I don't think Harry Vinayev's departure has uh, sort of upset the team. Because uh, Joe Jordan is there, Tony Adams is there. They are good people, and uh, they are stabilizing the the team so called. Mm. So, I I don't think right now, Renev's departure has affected the team in any way yet. Mm. Okay, but uh, having said that, we are top of the table. Um, we should comfortably beat Portsmouth. Okay lah, I mean, yeah. right? No, no. But then <laughs> the the thing is this. Uh, we just came out from a big match, uh. okay, and then uh, Liverpool has this habit of, you know, <laughs> playing against big teams. We get a result against the so-called smaller teams. We cannot get the result that we want, so we have to be careful of that. But other than that, la. yeah, complacency. But other than that, I think we should comfortably beat uh, Portsmouth. But Andy, how how mm. do we com- how the how do you think uh, manager Rafa Benitez mm-hmm. will combat this kind of com- complacency? Mm, I think, you know, after the, the, the win against Chelsea, right, definitely Rafa would have told them, you know, 
maintain that same mentality. You know, don't treat them as like smaller clubs or big clubs. You know, just use the same mentality. Just use the same way that you have beaten other teams. But other teams, I tell you, they might have changed their mentality. Now right. they think like like you say, everybody mm. think wow, Liverpool mm. is the team to beat already. So how how do you think that we need also need to change the mentality, saying that you know they are not an, a, a team anymore. No, they are they are going to come at us. Yes, I believe so. Mm. Mm. So how how. Mm. So 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 best to go with this kind of uh, yes because you know like when you have a winning mentality right you know it, it, it makes the game much easier you know the players are more comfortable they are not so edgy mm. okay so, lah uh, so it's all looking good for Liverpool although <laughs> um, as as a personal fan uh, I think uh, a disaster a uh, disaster might be always <laughs> always thinking about the, the around the corner, don't you think so? Oh yes, mm. definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's Liverpool for you. Uh, Manchester United uh, will be at Old Trafford. They will face West Ham, uh, who are struggling a bit. Uh, after now they got like three straight losses. Uh, do you think Gianfranco Zola, Rudy? Do you think Gianfranco Zola is the man to uh, uh, at least stabilize West Ham? Sort of like. Put them as a res- respectable club. Um, I mean, especially basing on yesterday's game, I mm. think West Ham did pretty well against Arsenal, especially mm. in the first half. Mm. They nullified Arsenal's threat. So I think Gianfranco Zola is doing a good job in West Ham, and West Ham should finish mid table. Mid table. Yep, mid table. Do you think they have any chance in uh, probably the um, cup games like FA Cup? Mm, maybe next season. <laughs> <laughs> Because Arsenal are going to win the FA Cup. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, uh, uh, well, um, with all these midweek matches, uh, of course, uh, after the midweek matches, we'll come to another weekend of matches. Um, uh, Liverpool, as I mentioned, will, be, will travel to Spurs and face yeah. Sp- uh, Tottenham. Um, well, is it a, another case of, you know, a good time meeting a good opponent? Uh, which is still not, uh, unsure. Yes, definitely. I think uh, Torres will be back by then. <coughs> so we have we have Torres back, and uh, I think and uh, basically Tottenham's defense. What what defense are we talking about? Tottenham's defense. <laughs> there, there's no defense right now, is there? So I think uh, and uh, the keep well the the Tottenham's keeper is a little shaky at the moment. We have Torres back. We have Gerard. We have Vieira. We have Cal. All these people are scoring. Alonso is scoring at the moment. They are all putting their fair share. So I think Okay uh, Definitely Doubt in the back uh. Oh yeah Well uh, we, we cannot be too Overconfident uh, I'm quietly confident Quietly confident yes. And overconfident <laughs> Different things uh. Yes Right <laughs> How about uh, Arsenal Who will you be facing Do you have any idea uh, oh, I can't recall Can't recall Yeah Next week's game Next week's game I think you all against uh, I sure Actually I also don't know <laughs> But never mind Arsenal Arsenal uh, mm. Always going to be Going to be uh, good sides. But, but Arsenal, you all haven't faced um, the top three teams yet. Mm. The other top three teams yet. Not yet. But so, but, no, but do you think this, you know, your continuously good form, um, only two losses, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to uh, help help you a lot uh, for the I upcoming. think, you know, like um, mentioned by Ryan earlier, you know, mm. Liverpool can win the big teams, can win against the big teams, but can't get points against the smaller teams. Mm. But Arsenal, so far, doing fine against the smaller teams as well. So I think um, meeting the big teams, as long as we don't lose, uh, we should be fine. We should be in the running for the title. I see, I see. Mm-hmm. Hey, we got one more comment that come in from uh, into uh, online comments. Uh, Devil Fat said, I think Alonso isn't that prolific season, Ryan. Uh, what do you have to say? Do you think that Alonso has become like like a second... He started off in the Liverpool's his career very well. Mm-hmm. Then got down a bit. But this season has been um, solid. Uh. Oh yes, this season has been solid. I think uh, what this, uh, this uh, Red Devil fan when he's talking about prolific, I think he's referring to the goal scored. Uh. Well, yeah, definitely. I don't, Alonso is not a, a free-scoring midfielder in the, in, the, in the more of Lampard. Uh. I think he's more of a creator. He's the one who pulls the string, distributes the passes. And in that sense, I think Alonso has been doing very well. Mm. Okay, and uh, he's... So I think no problems with that. I mean, as long as uh, people like Kyle and Gerard, Torres, and hopefully if Robbie Keane starts scoring, I think the, the, we can go all the way. No problems. Okay. La. 
Okay, um, so it's all all good, uh, all looking good for the upcoming week. Plenty of uh, football matches to keep us occupied. So, uh, for EPL fans, you can't complain that much, right? This, you know, uh, despite all the F1 <laughs> fans are uh, saying, oh, this is the week, this is the week for, mm. for, for Formula 1. But we still got our EPL. But, yeah. okay, so um, let's pick our uh, uh, players uh, players of the week uh, for, for each respective team uh, uh, for, for the past weekend. Uh, Rudy, who do you think is the player of the week for uh, the last weekend? Um, last weekend, I think Kieran Richardson. No, no, I mean your Arsenal oh, player. Oh, my Arsenal player. Um, it has to be Adibayo. You know, he, the moment he came in, he made a difference. Uh. Yep. So it has to be Adibayo. Do you, do you think that he is, um, he is consistent enough to uh, make Arsenal uh, a consistent track? Um... For sure, yeah, Adi Bayo. Because he, he, like, for example, last season, you know, he starts, he, he scored quite a number of goals, more than 20 goals. But um, one thing that he's lacking is uh, consistency. So hopefully this year, um, he gets a bit more consistent and starts to bang in all the goals. Okay. Oh, we've got two Liverpool fans here. We'll go with Andy first. Who's your player of the week? Mm, I would pick Xavi Alonso. Xavi Alonso. Yeah, because uh, not only because he has scored their winning goal against Chelsea, uh, he's also a team player. And, uh, you know, I, I don't really mind the fact he's not that prolific. Most important is he sport, he, 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 he's able to score special goals at special moments. So definitely, Xavi Alonso. Xavi Alonso. Yeah. All right, man. How, how about you, Ryan? I would actually go with uh, Albert Riera. Albert Riera, new yes. signing. Yes, definitely. I mean, okay, Carragher did well, as usual. Gerard did well, as usual. But I think Riera is actually something that uh, we have to look out this season. I mean, he's a winger, but look at his size. I mean, he's not a typical... His, his, his build is not a typical winger size. Uh, and uh, over the weekend against Chelsea, he combined well with Aurelio to uh, snuff out... Who was on the, on the right? I think Kalu... Kalu. And he managed Bosing to stuff out Bosinga as well. So I think uh, Riera is something. Uh, I think he'll be. He, he's a so far is a fantastic addition to Liverpool squad. I think. Yes. When, when when he first signed on, uh, what what were your initial thoughts on him? Do you look at him like say, uh, <laughs> why do we need the blind left winger right now? Okay, I was actually <laughs> hoping and hoping for a big name signing on the left. Uh. Mm. But when he came in, I thought, no, I, I, I reserved, I, 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 I kept my judgment to myself and I saw him play against the, uh, the first match and I thought he was against fantastic. Menu, right? Oh yes, fantastic. For yeah. £8 million, pounds, I think he might be the bargain of the season. £8 million pounds to the bargain of the season. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. <laughs> yes. If he wins us the title wow. and the Champions League, <laughs> title and the Champions League, then yes. £8 million is a bargain, okay? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> That's his EPL's uh, match for you. Okay? <laughs> EPL economics for you, okay? Uh, do we have time for a look at one more comment, online comment? Because one more just came in. Uh, yes. Uh, Devil Fat say, United's player of the weekend. Eh? No United fans, so this guy <laughs> does it for, for them. Player <laughs> of the weekend has been Ryan Giggs, mainly for his first half performance. Oh yeah, Ryan Giggs, uh, uh, from winger, uh, he's now switched to centre midfield. Uh, yeah. And it's something like, play something like Savi Alonso, yeah. uh, distribute passes here mm. and there. Do you think that Giggs will find a second win, uh, uh, second, second, sort of like a second career as a central midfielder, uh, Rudy? Yeah, I think he's doing well there. I mean, he doesn't have the speed anymore, mm. but um, he's, he's um, positioning and he knows when to release the ball as a centre midfielder, so he's doing well there. Mm. So, so okay, like centre midfielder Ryan Giggs. Mm. Well, never thought we'll ever see that. But <laughs> there you go. That's EPL for you. That's all we have for tonight. Uh, uh, thanks for thanks guys for joining us yeah. in a public holiday for a time in a public holiday. Uh, let's not forget tonight's uh, Razorism. Uh, former uh, American Republican politician Earl Warren uh, says, "I always turn to the sports pages first. Uh, this records." People's accomplishments. The fun front page of a newspaper has nothing but man's failures. Think about that. Then. All right. Thanks. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week. Same time, same place. All right. Goodbye.